Hi everyone, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Vivek, I host this channel. I am a previous VIT Andhra Pradesh campus alumni from ECE department. So I make various videos regarding my educational experiences there and various other content which will be helpful to other students out there. So in this video, I am going to talk about a very important topic where I will be explaining the real worth of CSC and ECE departments from VITP campus. Though I am from ECE department, I will be covering experiences from whatever subjects of computer science I had and various other students from my university as well. So why delay, let's dive in right into the video. First of all, let's understand the point that I am not going to define a particular program that this is great or this is bad, but I am going to experience or I am going to share my experiences of whatever I have understood there in the campus so that my experiences will be helpful to you guys out there. So in this video, I am going to cover basically two different points that is, that is inside and outside. So basically inside I will be covering the facilities and the faculty and the various processes that happen inside the university when you are a student and what will they affect you, how will they affect you and also afterwards outside that is where uh, your degree, how, are, how it is going to be helpful to get a job and all the aspects. So this is going to explain in detail how studying here in this university especially ECE and CSE is going to help you in your career and during your education as well. In the first part of the video I'll be covering CS departments related structures and after that I'll go to EC. So you can skip to the second part according to the timestamps if you are for EC out there but since most people come for CSC department or CS related information you can just stay tuned and continue this video as it goes on. So basically in CS program what happens in the academic facilities is that most of you will be requiring softwares and that are not going to be much expensive. Uh, when compared to the standards of VIT university or the connections they have with industries and all other uh, um, outside connections, right? So basically the licenses and the softwares are not at all going to be a problem and the facilities regarding computer labs and labs regarding various servers and all those things are quite good. So um, basically there is no shortage of resources for you to learn regarding the lab facilities as well. Going on to see the academics, academics is very great, faculty are very well qualified and there is also a well established library and they also have e-library as well where you can refer to the books online as well. So there is no shortage of uh, whatever uh, resources are there for you to get your education and you need to understand that VITAP is equally good to Velour as well not regarding the campus establishment or the size of the campus but in the quality of education they try to maintain equal standards to the most possible extent. Uh, going on to see the next important one is the outside life after you graduate that is how are the placements going to be in CSC department. So basically not just VIT every private campuses out there are going to have most companies that come for placements are going to be IT related software related etc. And since VIT has a lot of industry connections out there, they get a lot of companies related to software field, the CS related, IT related, all the data science, AI, all those things. So there are going to be tremendous amount of job opportunities. But since you are going to be participating in the placements, uh, since it is an integrated placements, you will be participating with the students from Vellore, Chennai, Bhopal as well. So there might be a little clash here and there. but it is not going to be very difficult to get a job. I have seen a lot of students. So basically what happens is that if you are extremely talented in coding and you are very good at comprehending things easily, you will get placed very easily at the initial start itself where the companies which are called as super dream companies come and they just take you because of the talent, they start you with the internship, they convert you later. If you are not very well talented, you can go slowly learn during the placements and by the end of fourth year, the placements go on for one year and in that time you will surely get a job and you need not worry about that as well especially for CSC. There is a contradiction in ECE I will be explaining that later but CS jobs there is no shortage of that and when you are talented when you work hard you need not worry about that you can just take VITAP and work your ass out. So going on to see ECE department and how are the experiences inside basically in ECE department my department what happens is that 
we need to get a lot of investment to establishment establish of lab facilities right licenses are very expensive compared to the software licenses and there are also not much open source softwares so and getting all those licenses to each and every person is quite difficult there might be little um, problem here and there but there are not going to be compromising on the quality of education you get there at VITAP especially regarding lab so as an ECE student I did not face any difficulties uh, accessing the facilities at lab or the laboratories or the library as well going on to see the teaching teaching was extremely good because some of the very good faculties what I, who I have met there they were kind of a great inspiration for me to take path uh, towards ECE as well I was not interested in software or getting a job in software field so somehow they inspired me to get a job in ECE field there are a lot of good faculties they will help you to write research papers if you just go approach them there are very good programs for you to improve your knowledge and they also have relations with foreign universities so combining all this you are going to have a very good career in academic wise from ECE department if you are in VITP university now the important part is the placements at ECE department what happens is that there are very less companies that come for EC placements to VIT University. This is the fact which everybody needs to know. Not just VIT University, this is the reality of all the private universities out there. So getting core job is quite difficult. Even if you are a star student, you get high CGPA, etc. It becomes difficult because less companies, less people they take and they hire. And there are a lot of EC students from Vellore. Well Chennai, Bhopal, Andhra Pradesh. So amongst all these, getting a good job in top companies very difficult. Okay. So as a student, I was uh, uh, I was seeing good opportunities in the ECE field. So in the VLSI field particularly, I took the path here. And I don't work in an MNC. I work in a startup. You can just check out this video regarding my education experiences and how I got placed here. So this is how the job opportunities work. Though you are a good student in ECE, there are a lot of job opportunities regarding CSC and IT which you can try but EC jobs are scarce and getting that is little difficult you need to uh, come over that point as well if you still want to get a job if you're still determined to get a only EC jobs you can work hard you can try hard and you can simultaneously prepare for gate because that knowledge is going to help you to crack EC jobs as well so that we can try off campus jobs as well and on campus jobs as well and I am pretty sure I have seen a lot of students getting core EC jobs as well not just toppers even the middle scorers like uh, you know not 100% the middle 80% also get good EC core jobs it is just the determination and dedication to study so this is what I need to tell there are job opportunities both in core sector and CS sector it depends on how much work you put in and regarding AP campus there are decent facilities for both the things so th that's the end of the video and I hope I have clarified this question because most of the students have asked me this question and I hope this helps everyone solve their problems of choosing VIT AP regarding CS and EC departments. Thank you so much for staying out so long. This is Vivek signing off. Stay safe, stay informative. Bye bye.